Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Now the spring is coming. It's time to start the distillation and making your own fresh hydrosol. Um, but uh, when we are distilled the herbs, uh, we always have uh, different parts from uh, different herbs. For example, when we distill rose, make rose water, we use the flower, the lavender water from the lavender buds, the lemon balm with the leaf, eucalyptus with leaf, ginger from the root. So, and the generally there are the root, the stem, branch, leaf, and flower. There are four different parts. So how can we make the best hydrosol from the different parts? Is there any actual preparation can help us make, uh, you know, boost the quality? And today's video will show you a, a quick and a simple skill to make the best uh, hydrosol. When we harvest herbs, we harvest different parts for different herbs. Like the ginger, we use the root because it contains the most uh, the nutrients and essential compounds. You know, and uh, the flower, we we collect the flower for the rose, for the lavender, and we collect leaves, the peppermint, the lemon balm. We collect the fruit like uh, the lemon, orange, the skin, the peel. For different herbs, we use the uh, different parts. And uh, uh, generally speaking, we can use either fresh or dry. It's not has a big difference, but only the rose and uh, the jasmine flower and the lemon balm, we normally use the fresh. Fresh is better, but you can also use the dry. It's not a big deal. I have a video showing you how to make a, a good rose water from the dry rose. And before the, I show you the skill to prepare, you know, the different part of the herbs, I want to present you our new app. It's a menu app. It's called a lead time menu. It's uh, designed for showing you how to use a lead time uh, product. But uh, if you are using the dis distiller, if you're using a, a steel to distill herbs, the information shown on the app are also quite useful for your distillation. You can just, it's a free app. You just download it and uh, just check each step, like a uh, first time use, how to maintain your, the steel and how to clean it. Now let me show you the app. After you open the app, you get options to choose the steel you want to, you know, to see how to use it. Um, for example, I chose the KD5. There are options like first time use instruction. So it gives you option to check all the components, having your package, and also give you option to send a message to uh, lead time. And the tips when you're using the steel and the, uh, you know, the herbs or the water the, and the resource you're going to need to run your herb distillation. This is not only for KD5. This is good for any you know, steel you want to use to make your hydrosol and essential oil. And this is a very important part, the general rules for successful herb distillation. This is, again, not only for the KD5, it's almost for all of the steel, especially when you're doing the steam distillation. And then it goes through the steps until you you know get ready and the tips when using a steel and then you can collect how much the hydrosol and uh, try to avoid the dry cook as uh, a maintenance also it show you the steps to do the right maintenance and the cleaning procedure so the regular cleaning if you need a deep clean then you can follow the either the deep clean option one or the deep clean option two. So then you can go back, choose other steel. With RT3000, the diff major difference, one of the major difference is you can run into different cooling mode. So here you're gonna need the same thing. If for any steel, 
you want to do a circulation condensation, and this is very useful and very helpful. So here are the parts you need and how to set up the whole uh, circulation cooling. Also, you got an option to see how to choose a steel by just simply answer the two questions like I want to make hydrosol. And so how many herbs you have? If I only have a pound or less, then you can choose either KD5 or LT3000. Easy, right? Um, then, yeah, you can install the app we have. So you, you want to make a, a bit of a hydrosol and oil together. Then you have a few pounds. So here are the two options you have. So if I want to make a mini oil and I have that, these are the options. Now let's talk about how to prepare the different part of the herb. There are the four most common parts of the herbs we use for the distillation. The root, the leaf, flower, and the stem. So for these different parts of uh, the herbs, we can do a uh, different uh, the preparation for the distillation. The root and uh, the stem or branch has more fibers. So it's uh, essential oil hided or covered by the fibers uh, after drying. So it's kind of locked uh, the channel. For the root and uh, the stem, we do an actual preparation. Just uh, simply soak it in the water. You can use a warm water and you do the ratio one to five. That means if you have one kilogram of the material, the herb, then you have five liter of uh, the water. So just soak it in. The same, uh, follow the same procedure. When you use water, you always use a filter water or natural uh, spring water. So just soak it for two or three hours. And then you can uh, drain out the water Put the soaked herb in the steamer and uh, don't drop the water. Uh, use the water in your the pot so, so you can uh, recycle some of the uh, essential oil. Uh, follow the same way uh, for the stem and the branch. For the leaf and uh, flowers, normally we don't need a, a special uh, preparation because um, the essential oil just um, in the glands, those are open. So that's why we can easily smell the, uh, the scent from the either the leaf or the flower. So just uh, you can just start the steam distillation uh, right away. You can either use a fresh or dry uh, material. It's, uh, for most of the herbs, uh, the doesn't matter. The drying process doesn't matter much, but only those uh, rose, jasmine, uh, lemon balm, so you want to use a fresh. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you uh, got some information from this video. And uh, don't forget, download the Lita Manual app. Uh, this is Dr. Leo, and see you next time.